come on with me to an American pharmacy. I'd like to take you inside of an American pharmacy to show you what it's like. And if you ever visit the US and you need to visit a pharmacy or you would like to, I'd like to help you make that a smoother and easier experience. And like always, I have created a free PDF worksheet with all of today's important expressions, ideas, and helpful tips to help you navigate visiting the US a little bit easier. So you can click on the link in the description to download that free PDF worksheet today. All right, are you ready to join me, Vanessa, and my baby, Matilda, inside the pharmacy? Let's go. So inside a pharmacy in the US, there are a lot of things that you can purchase. You might think that a pharmacy is just for medicine, but that's not true. There's a lot of different sections, so let's walk around. Here we are in the cosmetics section. Cosmetics means makeup. And you can see down each aisle like this, <laughs> you can buy soap shampoo, <laughs> really anything you can imagine. Um, little toys and trinkets. <laughs> there are endless amounts of things you can get at a pharmacy. In fact, this is something that the US is kind of known for, for having stores that are a one-stop shop. That means you can stop one place and get everything you need. Very convenient and kind of a stereotype. <laughs> This is where you would go if you were celebrating a birthday party and you wanted to buy some balloons, candles, themed birthday plates for your kids, <laughs> birthday cards, any cards for really any occasion. In fact, this is something that pharmacies are known for is having lots of cards. So if you are on the way somewhere and you realize oh, I forgot to bring a card, well, you can just stop into a pharmacy. Let's see. So over here, you can see this is the actual pharmacy part. You can go to the clinic. You can actually see somebody who is a certified nurse or doctor, someone who can give you some advice about a medical issue. Generally, it's a good idea to make an appointment, but you can always drop in and ask if they have any, uh, any way that you can talk with someone if you have an issue. Um, over here, you can see it says in big letters what we came for pharmacy. <laughs> so at the pharmacy, this is where you would go if you were going to pick up a prescription. And in the US, there's a couple different ways to get medicine. Unfortunately, a lot of medications that are pretty typical, like an antibiotic, you have to have a prescription, which means you need to see a doctor first. You have to pay to see the doctor. The doctor has to evaluate if you need that medicine and then they will send a prescription to your chosen pharmacy. So when you go to a doctor in the US, they'll ask, what is your preferred pharmacy? And you'll choose maybe a place like this <laughs> and you'll say uh, the address and the location and then you can come here and you can pick up your prescription whenever it's available. I see my baby has noticed the microphone. <laughs> you want to grab that? Not a good idea. <laughs> um, it is possible that you could ask the pharmacist or if they have a little clinic like this, you could ask them for some advice. So if you have no appointment, if you just need some medical advice, maybe you're on a vacation and you have a cough that won't go away, you could ask, hey, do you have any recommendations? What should I do? You could ask them for advice. Who knows what they'll say, <laughs> but it's always worth it. And it's no problem to ask. Um, let's take a look at some of the aisles to see what kind of medication you can get over the counter. And I'll explain what that means. So for example, uh, this is the children's section, but let's say you have allergies, terrible allergies, <laughs> and you visit the US during like a spring season, you will need to get some allergy medicine. This is something that you can get over the counter. These are children's allergy medications um, in the children's section, um, but you can get allergy medicine, you can get pain and fever relieving medicine over the counter. And I've always been a little bit confused by this phrase because where's the counter? 
there's no counter. <laughs> Instead, that's the counter uh, where you actually have to have a prescription. So don't be confused. Over the counter means that you can just walk in and get it. You don't need a prescription. You don't need a doctor's approval. You can just walk in and get anything over the counter, even though that's the counter. Don't be confused. Sometimes English is strange. All right, let's keep walking and see what else you can get. Need some Kleenex? You can get Kleenex. <laughs> you can get wrapping paper if it's Christmas time like it is now. Uh, you can get reading glasses <laughs> if you forgot your reading glasses. Uh, you can even get some kind of like minor medical supplies. There are some hearing aids. There are some uh, braces for your arm. <laughs> there are alarm clocks. <laughs> uh paternity testing kits <laughs> i didn't even know you could get that here there's thermometers uh pain medication um sometimes in the u.s we do use you all right baby sometimes we do use the brand name oh a little cough maybe you need some medication <laughs> we do use the brand name to talk about medications so if you ask a pharmacist um, i have a cough what should i do and they recommend a specific brand name to you and you're not familiar with it, you can just ask, oh, is that a cough medication or is that a fever reducing medication? You're welcome to ask for clarification because sometimes I don't know what the medication is either. <laughs> so feel free to ask for clarification if you're not sure. All right, let's keep going. Lots and lots of medication, lots and lots. <laughs> All right, we're getting to the section of stuff, candy. not not medicine anymore. <laughs> candy, candy, candy. Oh, uh, so if you need to buy any dry goods, maybe last minute Christmas presents, <laughs> um, you can get toilet paper, laundry detergent, all of these types of dry goods. And there's even lots of different types of foods. So let's go take a look at the food. There's candy and candy and candy and candy. <laughs> lots of candy um but there might be you know seasonal items as well right now it is almost christmas i know it's after christmas when you're watching this but imagine christmas um so lots of candy for stockings and different seasonal things um there's many toys down here let's actually go down the next aisle i want to show you something these types of things are like grab and go snacks so you could get pistachios, chocolate covered almonds. Mm, I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, more trail mix, dried fruit, chips, lots of soda, lots and lots of soda. Uh, beef jerky, lots of beef jerky apparently. Different types of popcorn and juices. And back here, it's a little bit loud. There are coolers where you can get cooled drinks. And guess what? In some pharmacies in the US, you can buy alcohol. Did you hear that right? Alcohol. <laughs> you can get beer and wine in some pharmacies. And that's really normal. Um, here, I guess in this pharmacy, I don't see any. Um, it might be state by state too. Different states have different rules. But don't be surprised if you walk into a pharmacy and there's wine grab a bottle of wine and go have a party. <laughs> Let's go down here for the last section. This is the baby section. So if you have a baby like I do, and you need to buy anything like specific baby medicine, um, baby soaps, diapers, wipes, any of these types of things, you can get this here. So it's pretty incredible. Pharmacies are so inclusive. <laughs> many different things they are really a one-stop shop now i must say that oftentimes pharmacies in the u.s are gonna be more expensive than going to somewhere like walmart or purchasing something online if you have that option but you know what sometimes when you're visiting or you're traveling it's nice to just go to one of these places that's an easy access and one-stop shop and you can just get whatever you need to get
All right, I'm gonna grab a pack of baby wipes. You always need baby wipes when you have a baby and we're gonna go to the checkout and I'll show you how the checkout works. If I remember right, this pharmacy has a couple checkout options. So let's go see. Oh, you can even get stuff for your car. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty amazing if you need some washer fluid or something for your car or to wash your clothes. It's here. <laughs> Welcome. If you Ooh. have your extra care <laughs> So I'm going to use the self checkout now. because that's the easiest option and there's nobody here right now. Um and I think those are pretty much pretty much the same all around the world. Place your item in the bagging area. I did. Um, one little note as I do this, there is a photo studio. So if you want to have any pictures printed and you don't have access to doing that online, if you are this is a great scanning, place to do that. So you can um, get your pictures printed here. All right, I'm going to scan coupon now. Touch not the scan any coupons. It's finished. And I'm going to continue. No. Your total is Five. And Five. I will Please use wait. my card. System processing. Swipe or insert card and follow instructions on pin pad. All right. Now I know in some countries you have to just put your card in really quickly. Sometimes in the U.S. it's quick. Sometimes you have to leave it in there. So please read the pin pad little screen and make sure you're doing it the right way. All right. I don't want a receipt, so I'll click no receipt. And that's it. I'm not going to use a bag. I'll just carry it out myself. Let's go. Please You're welcome. <laughs> I just want to let you know there also is an ATM at a lot of CVS's. Um, you can use the ATM or what you can do if you go to the checkout counter where there's an actual person there. Um, I think you can do this at the self checkout too. You can choose cash back and you can get cash back. So if you need $20 in cash, um, you're welcome to go to the counter and buy something small, buy a little candy bar or some gum, <laughs> and then ask for some cash back. And you can get cash back or you can use the ATM. That's what we call it in the US. In fact, it's right here, A-T-M. <laughs> you can use that as well to get money back. All right, let's leave, come on. All right, I wanna show you something else down here. <laughs> this uh, is kind of a blast from the past. I don't know if in your country people use DVDs still or if they're more likely to use Netflix. In the US, DVDs are not very common, but this is a machine <laughs> where you can rent DVDs and they will come out of here, I guess this little slot. <laughs> They'll come out and you can actually take the physical DVD home. It's called a red box. Um, it's kind of a blast from the past. I don't know how many people actually use these, but you know what? If you need a DVD, go for it. Enjoy the red box at the pharmacy. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining me at an American pharmacy. I want to know in the comments, how different is this than a pharmacy where you're from? Let me know in the comments some similarities, some differences. I can't wait to see what you have to say. And don't forget to download the free PDF worksheet with all of the vocabulary I used today, some concepts and some tips so that when you walk in an American pharmacy, you know exactly what to do and you feel confident and comfortable. I'll also leave some extra tips about various pharmacies around the US so that you can easily go into one and get whatever you need, a one-stop shop. You can click on the link in the description to download that free PDF worksheet today. Thanks so much for learning English with me and I'll see you again next Friday for a new lesson here on my YouTube channel. Bye. But wait, do you want more? I recommend watching this video next where you will join me and my second son when he was a baby at the grocery store. You can visit an American grocery store, walk around with me and see how it's different from a grocery store in your country. I'll see you there.